Hey guys, Andrew here with Frippy Films and today I want to talk about breakable sugar glass window panes and how you can make them yourself. I have to break a window in an upcoming short film I'll be working on so I figured I'd make a video and we can mark it down as another one of our quick tips, quick tips, quick tips, quick tips. We'll start by grabbing our sugar, a candy thermometer, some corn syrup, something to measure liquids in, a quarter teaspoon measure, some cream of tartar, some non-stick cooking spray, a metal whisk, some aluminum foil, a pan to act as your pouring mold, your oven mitts, and a pot to put everything in. Let's start by combining your ingredients into the pot. You'll need three cups of sugar for this recipe, which you can find anywhere online by just simply typing in breakaway glass recipe. Next, you're gonna wanna grab some fresh water, then with your liquid measuring cup, you're going to measure out two cups of water and add it to the pot. Next, you'll need to add one level quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar to the pot. And lastly, you're gonna wanna take the light corn syrup and measure out one cup. I'm checking it by the meniscus for all my baking friends out there. Then simply add that to the mix. Next, you're gonna wanna turn your burner on high and start to mix and combine all your ingredients. We're looking to heat this mixture up to about 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is sugar's hard crack state. This whole process of heating takes about a half an hour. So while this is heating up, let's get our candy thermometer out. You're going to want to keep this sugar mixture moving during this heating process to avoid burning and discoloration of your sugar glass. Also, while this is heating up, we can get our pan ready. Again, this is going to take a little bit of time, but keep the sugar mixture moving. And my apologies, I didn't have any at the time, but I will say that parchment paper would be a better idea, especially if you would want to get a smoother window pane in the end. Then you're just going to want to smooth it out so it's ready and in the shape of your mold. Again, remember to keep whisking as you're heating. Next, you can take your non-stick spray and spray a thin layer across your aluminum foil or parchment paper. Remember, keep whisking. You don't want that sucker to burn. And as you're cooking it, you'll start to see that it's starting to get very warm, so I'm going to go ahead and put on my oven mitt. Don't hurt yourself. Safety first. All of that good stuff. You do not want to touch this with your bare skin. Or bare skin, for that matter. Once you've reached the desired temperature of 300 degrees, you're going to want to slowly pour your mixture into the mold. Put it in the fridge for about an hour or so to let it cool. Once it's cool, you're ready to take it out of the mold. I'm using a nice cutting board just so I have a flat surface to work on. Pulls right out of the pan with your parchment paper or your aluminum foil. And I just flipped it upside down and slowly peeled off the aluminum foil. Not too bad. And because I kept the sugar moving the whole time, it's not too brown or discolored. Not too bad for using real sugar. Let's check this sucker out. All right guys, well here's our sugar glass window pane. Uh, I only have one chance at this. I already broke half of it trying to just get it into here, but let's see what we can do. Couldn't find the hammer at the moment, but I figured I'd use this metal rack ear piece that I found, and uh, seems pretty solid. Let's see what happens, shall we? Well, that was exciting. Looked like glass, sounded like glass, broke like glass. So just another tip, again, if you wanna use the ISO malt that you can get at any craft store or baking store, um, I hear you can get um, clearer panes, so you, know, you can see through it a little bit better. But I think the key here is to also use metal on metal when you're stirring and just really keep it moving so you don't burn the sugar and it doesn't turn that brown, golden, yellow kind of deal. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and all that, and I guess we'll see you again on our next quick tip. Yeah. <laughs>